Okay, now I have never replaced the pads in the Sundara. I've never actually, this is my first pair, but I do know that I love the Brainwaves uh, sheepskin leather pads. I recently replaced it on the um, M50Xs that I have, as well as my solid base. Uh, these are years old, so I wasn't really too terribly impressed with the Sundara's pads. They're not, they're kind of, they're not as firm. As like the brainwaves. That's, and also they seem a little bit deeper. A tiny bit. But anyway. I do know that these are, have a disc on and I think these don't come off with the disc. So I did order a set of discs to preserve the factory pads. So let's just see if I can get this off. I'm breaking them. By the way, they just come in a bag. These rings are about 10 bucks. These pads, uh, I think I spent like 30, but I got these off of the um, Brainwaves website on like some super sale. trick is going to be getting these off without breaking them. Alright, so that's the trick. Your inside finger, get underneath that ring, lift it while you push with your thumb. I think that's glued on there. And that's the replacement ring. That is what they look like without the pad on it. So brain waves versus the factory. Brainwaves are a little bit bigger. like before stretcher over it.
looks like it's the same way you just kind of torque it in roll it in the same way it came out That's it. It's on. And I personally have always liked the more substantial pad. So there is the leather brain waves. The thing about getting these things on is that this ring is flexible so you can really stuff it in versus the Audio Technica's you gotta really rip on the pad quite a bit. Not entirely sure if I like this better or not. I think it's easier to do alternating sides. And just like when you're taking it off, you tuck it under. It's half on already. Hold the other side so you don't push it out. one there you go brainwave 
leather sheepskin on the high five and Sundaras. Oh, one thing I always like to do, and I did it wrong on this one, I always like to have the seam pointed down or up. And I did it wrong on one. No big deal, I think I can spin it. Since it's a round one, not an oval. There you go. As you can see, I think it's just a more substantial pad. But um, we're gonna, I didn't want to destroy the ones that it came with. I want to see how the sheepskin leathers sound, if it affects the sound quality, um, and if so, how much. So I'm gonna be doing some heavy listening to these guys. That's just how to get the, the, the brain waves on here. I've always liked their pads. Um, I'll let you know if it affects the sound. I think sacrificing a tiny bit of sound for comfort is worth it but that's just my opinion because I do listen to a lot of audiobooks um, I think the next thing to get re replaced on these is going to be this cord which I think is a joke which I said before in the review but everything that matters on these I think is really good anything that can be replaced one thing I will say about this cord is I am thrilled that it is a standard port. Anyone from Apple is out there, most really good headphones come with a cord, okay? So every one of these headphones you're going to have to get a stupid attachment for. By the way, yes, this is a shameless product placement. If you're watching this video, I'll put the link for my book down below. It, I'm probably the only author that will ever say if you don't like the book, feel free to return it. If you don't have Audible, it's free it's for the first book. And then if you don't like it, cancel the account. Anyways, that's that. That's what I will be using to test these out. And some movies, probably. Let me know what you guys think. Comments below. And I'll talk to you next time.